Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 11th, 2020. Well, hey everyone, I apologize that there was no video yesterday. I had to take off. I forgot to mention in the in the in the video uh, blog that morning that um, on Wednesday morning that I wasn't going to be around on Thursday. I had to run out for just a you know one of the wellness physicals that you have to do for insurance, and I set that appointment very early in the morning so I could avoid as many folks as possible. <laughs> <laughs> and ha having to be around um, COVID folks. And um, so I apologize that there was no video yesterday. Um, this morning, however, we look like we have a market that, well, jobless claims disappointed a little bit, but we, re we really didn't get a very big reaction. Um, I would have expected, you know, job numbers uh, jobless claims rising would get more of a reaction, but in this very bullish market, economic news, the fact that the economy is slowing a bit because of COVID restrictions doesn't seem to bother um, this market at all in this uh, uh, unbelievable bullish uh, move to the upside. Now, this morning, however, we, we got news that Congress couldn't get their job done. They passed a stopgap budget that well not a budget but a spending plan a stopgap spending plan so we don't have to worry about a government shutdown this weekend but um, ended up adjourning without passing a stimulus bill that seems to be more disappointing to the market this morning than the fact that people are losing jobs so you can see we're getting this morning a little bit of a push down right now Dow futures are trying to bounce off of the lows we've been down over 200 points but right now as I'm speaking Dow futures are only down 185 we're getting that little morning pump coming in that we typically see here in the market so keep a close eye on that watch that carefully and closely this morning now what we want to pay attention to here is that we have a trend right here in this market you can see these are contacting these lows just almost perfectly and this could be a test of that trend support here in the Dow. Should those bears happen to finally show up and show some teeth and we lose this level of support, keep in mind that that would mean uh, the next test of support could be down in here, which may not look like much on the chart, but is actually a fairly significant move. Let's just take a look at um, the actual Dow and measure that move if we measure from yesterday's close measure from yesterday's close here on the dow and just measure down to that next level of price support it's about 570 points lower so keep in mind that even though we have uh, essentially ignored um, a slowing economy if those bears do happen to show up and start to really push for a downside move, just really kind of throwing a bit of a temper tantrum because they didn't get um, their stimulus fix, then watch that closely. Um, we could test down in that area and it could be a painful pullback if that were to occur. And right now, honestly, the market has been so extended and I'll show T2122 in a bit. We are still very extended even after a little bit of selling we've experienced the last few days. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our technicals on the chart and let's just note that our moving averages are still way behind um, this, this stock. Now, um, what this could mean is that we don't actually get a full-on pullback in the market. Perhaps we just go into a bit of a longer term consolidation. But let's notice that we've still got a lot of work before these averages catch up. And that possibility that if those bears really do show that they're hungry for a change, um, we could get some significant selling. Um, so watch that close. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY um, holding up yesterday, very, very bullish um, yesterday, holding into that downtrend. Notice that downtrend, we're almost contacting these points almost to the penny, holding that downtrend. But this morning, we're going to get a substantial test of that upside trend, or excuse me, uptrend. We're going to get a substantial test of that upside trend. 
um, and possibly gap through. We'll see if those bulls have enough energy to push us back through. But that is starting to become just a tiny little bit of concern. And that uncertainty that we have now on stimulus and a few other things that are cropping up like this Texas challenge to the election um, could be some interesting um, uncertainty heading into the weekend. So just think of that carefully as you plan forward. Remember, there's no shame in taking some profits, tucking that 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 uh, gain into your account heading into the weekend. Yes, it's possible we may miss out if we get some good bullish news next week, but we've had a significant run. It might be a wise idea to capture some profits. And that may be a little bit of the thinking of some traders uh, today heading into this weekend. So don't be surprised if we get a little bit more bearishness coming in as the day goes on. Let's take a look at the cues. QQQ. Uh, we had kind of an ugly bearish engulfing candle show up here and yesterday we pulled back on that news and we're kind of showing a test here of this upside trend and keep in mind that if we get much more of a push down um, we could break on down through there just a little bit so watch that closely right now the queue is holding up pretty darn well um, we'll just see how we deal with that trend and just notice that also in, in the cues that we, we're not quite as far behind on that 50 day moving average. So cues could work to hold us up a little bit better. And by the way, we have a little stronger level of price support right in here on that chart. Now watch that carefully. If we hold there, perfect. If we can't hold there, if we happen to drift down below then we could have some real trouble here um, in the NASDAQ, so watch that. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM has been really, really strong and yesterday it enjoyed a big move back up after those jobless claims because we saw energy stocks really rallying hard yesterday. Energy and financials are holding up pretty darn well and that's helping to lift or hold this IWM. What's going to be important though is if today we happen to sink down below there just a bit, then we could move on back and test this level of support um, in IWM. So watch that carefully. Now, assuming it holds, that would set up a really good upside opportunity here in IWM. If that were to fail, then start looking for these next levels of price support down in here to try and catch that. Um, if we do actually pull back. Let's also note that our 50 day moving average is a long ways behind and a pullback here or a rest would not be out of the question. Let's take a look at the uh, VIX here. And the VIX, kind of an interesting situation seeing us rally back strongly yesterday, even after that ugly jobs number. And seeing that we're holding in here, notice we're above a 22 handle. We ended up hanging on to that 500 day moving average here in the VIX. But we're seeing that VIX rallying just a little bit. Now I suspect it'll pop up a little bit more today. I wouldn't rule out the possibility that we see enough of a selling wave coming into the market, a little bit of profit taking, that we could uh, push up and maybe test the downtrend right here uh, that we that we show here in the VIX. Now keep in mind we could actually pop through that even and come up here and test that 50 day moving average. But that would require a pretty substantial sell off to get us up there. Is it possible? Yes, we've extended and extended and extended. We just haven't seen those bears really show their teeth here for some time. If they do happen to kick up, just be prepared for that. If they do happen to kick up and be ready to react should um, they really come in strongly. Let's take a look at T2122. Now this is a four week new high, new low ratio. And you guys know that I've been pointing to this for some time now that this has been indicating a very overextended condition in the market. And even with that little bit of selling that we have experienced here, we still have not resolved this overextension um, in any significant way. 
So keep in mind, if those bears do show up, if we do get that pullback, this gap down this morning, uh, bringing in some additional sellers, we could see that little bit of a drift down in here. And honestly, that wouldn't hurt anything. That would actually probably set up really good buying opportunities should we get that stimulus next week or the market gets happy about some other thing out there. So watch that carefully. Remember, there is that opportunity that we could still pull back and um, we should be prepared for that just in case it does happen to occur. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar today really well we got a couple of things that we'll want to pay attention to um, but I don't know if that we're going to get some really major moves out of them unless they disappoint take a look we've got ppi um, that'll be interesting this morning here that's going to come out prior to the market open keep an eye on that that is probably the biggest potential market mover uh, today on the calendar we do have consumer sentiment that of course can move us around particularly if they show uh, you know, consumers are getting disappointed, but right now consumers have just been buying everything in sight. So um, that doesn't seem to be a major problem um, if you take a look at retail sales. Um, um, also keep in mind, we've got a Fed speaker today. We'll want to pay attention to that. So just watch closely as we um, check out those reports here this morning. And then on the earnings calendar, we have a very, very light earnings calendar day. Not much going on. As a matter of fact, I really couldn't even come up with much of anything for notables. Um, I did pick up one that uh, may be somewhat notable. Uh, J-O-U-T will be reporting today and it looks like it's trying to push up this morning. Um, could be a little bit notable. I kind of doubt it's going to be a market mover event, and I doubt we're going to see much. A lot of the, we're getting the really tiny small caps, um, earnings reports and things like that out today. So not much going on on that earnings calendar. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, everyone, if you could please do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, my attempt here in these videos is not to add to the the hype and the drama that we see in so many places in social media or um, even in the mainstream media where we just uh, always bring in all of this um, all of this hype and prediction what I want to do is look at the technicals of the chart and look at those um, things out there that may help me focus on how I want to approach the market for the day. And that really is the purpose of these videos. How do you want to approach the market for the day? So think about that. If these help you in uh, figuring that out, please do me a favor. If you feel it was worthy, click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. That helps us continue to grow. And also, please feel free to share these videos on any of your social platforms out there. Help us continue to grow, extend, extend those out. And there's lots and lots of education on this channel for you to take advantage of. Um, 950 videos on YouTube now. I can't believe it. So let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up. And keep in mind that every time I point out a stock in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It's merely something that you might want to put on a watch list, determine, determine yourself to your own evaluation, and make sure you're trading your plan. Never blindly follow someone else's analysis of a chart. Let's take a look at IBM. Now, IBM has been kind of interesting in that it's breaking this downtrend, and I've been watching this closely. Notice I had an alert on this chart and this morning we're getting that little bit of a pullback in here that may break that trend so it all depends on how the market reacts here if we push back up um, we could be fine we could get that shock down and back up as well we seem to have a lot of that lately where we get that knee-jerk reaction in here but watch that closely as IBM tries to pick up here now this isn't what I've talked about um, for a long, long time. And I can't tell you that this is actually going to come around and really challenge this ugly downtrend in the chart and ugly, really ugly resistance level up here. 
but right now it's one to maybe put on a list and keep an eye on. I've been keeping an eye on Coca-Cola here and you can see it's tried a couple of times and I've suggested to RWO members to just wait on this because I felt that we were moving too quickly um, back up and that's proven to be correct. Now I can't tell you if this is going to hold this support in here, but that's what I'd like to see. I'd like to see this continue to rest in here for just a little bit longer and then show me that buy signal and I'll be looking for an opportunity here in Coca-Cola. Let's take a look at ExxonMobil. Guys, um, I have a tremendous bias here on ExxonMobil. I am holding this stock and this thing is just performed far better than I expected. Now, let's keep in mind here that we're holding in this trend and I would not chase this stock um, at this point. I think it it's overdue for a rest or pullback, but let's keep an eye in here. If it can rest or pull back over here into trend, then there may be that next opportunity to move on through and test some of these resistance levels. Now we've seen, um, um, these oil sector stocks and energy, XLE, just perform, energy sector, just perform extremely well um, in these charts. Um, by the way, this is a uh, bull put credit spread that I laid out for RWO members um, in here. And as you can see, that would uh, be turning out to be tremendously profitable had you taken that trade. Um, just a great move to the upside. And I know there are some folks in RWO that are still holding this as a directional trade. So looking really good um, in this chart. Um, lots and lots of strength in that energy sector. So take a look at some of those energy sector stocks. A rest or pullback is due, but um, there are some pretty good opportunities setting up in there. Take a look at XLY. Now, XLY has been running up in this little trend. Now, we've had a little volatility in here, and you can notice that we're pulling back. But as, I think as long as we hold this level of support in here, these consumer discretionary stocks are something you might want to keep an eye on for that opportunity that they may put back up here moving through to the upside. I've got an alert here on Peloton. Peloton had a little bit of volatility showing up in here. Pushed, whoops, pushed down, as you can see, right here. Thursday rallied back strongly. Big old bullish candle there on that move. And now we're getting that bit of bearishness this morning that's putting a little bit of a sub subdued look on that. But let's keep an eye on this. Peloton has done really, really well. Um, you know, taking tremendous advantage from COVID as gym uh, workout facilities and things have closed and folks buying that equipment themselves to work out at home. So keep a close eye on that. Peloton may have that opportunity to continue to move on higher here. Keep a close eye on that. Take a look at Crocs. Now Crocs has just been performing, performing, performing. And I've placed a an alert right here on Crocs and we popped through and pulled back, but I did think that was a little bit early in that move. Let's watch this, if this can consolidate right in here. Still have that opportunity to push on through to the upside. Crocs has just been in an unbelievable upside trend. And notice there really hasn't been a lot of volatility in this. It's a pretty steady trend, so it's worth keeping an eye on. Keep an eye on some of the copper sector stocks, SCCO, continuing to consolidate. Now this had a major run up, so I'm really not all that surprised that we're resting here a little bit longer. Now if we pull this back notice there's a pretty substantial support level here from a long time ago in the chart we broke out and that can typically when we get those big breakouts can typically bring in a bit of a longer term consolidation so let's keep an eye on this if this can hold up in this area uh, copper with all of the um, energy that we're seeing and news reports about um, uh, infrastructure improvements and all the things that are um, being planned for. Copper has a pretty good story here, so keep an eye on that. Another one you might want to keep an eye on is FCX in that same area. FCX has enjoyed a tremendous move um, in this chart, and we're consolidating here a bit. As you can see, I'll just push this line up here. We're consolidating right in this range relatively tight range. If that can continue to hold, then watch for that opportunity that that could push on out of there to the bullish side. Watch that carefully. Um, 
looking pretty decent. A chart that is kind of interesting to me. Now, I don't normally trade biotechs uh, just because of their incredible volatility, but I got to tell you, this pattern here is showing to be pretty darn positive. Take a look at GILD, trying to break this downtrend that it's been moving in. And notice that we've pulled back and we're resting in here. We're trying to prove that we can hold this downtrend as support and hold this little uptrend. We're challenged by a bit of a resistance right in here. But let's keep an eye on this. If this were to pop through, if you like those biotechs, pretty good opportunity here trying to pop through. And by the way, that happens to be right around an area where we're testing, trying to hold support around that 50 day moving average. This becomes one of those round of bottom breakouts that we talk about um, if that can actually prove to hold in that area. So watch that closely. Pretty decent looking chart overall, one to be paying attention to. Um, I've been keeping a close eye and you guys know I've mentioned these over and over and over, anything in shipping to keep an eye on. Now, UPS has pulled back, little bit of trouble here, but as long as we hold some of these support levels, shippers aren't, um, they're so busy right now, they can barely keep up. So watch this in here if that can pop on through, could be some opportunities there in that chart. And I also wanna mention um, CGC. CGC has been on a tremendous run and a lot of the cannabis stocks have been on a tremendous run. And let's keep a watch on this as we wait and see whether or not um, this is going to hold this level of support and maybe push on through. Um, Keep a close eye on that. Looking pretty darn good overall. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and a wonderful, wonderful weekend ahead. Please keep in mind that there could be that little bit of uncertainty heading into this weekend. So watch this carefully if you feel like it's time to take some profits. Remember, taking profits is how we make money as traders. Um, if we don't take profits, and if we don't take profits regularly, it's really hard to be consistently profitable traders. So make sure you're putting some profits in your account. And if this market pullback is making you a little bit nervous, well, this might be time to capture a few of those gains, reduce that risk right into the weekend. Everyone take care of yourself. Have an awesome, awesome weekend, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning.